Hello everyone, I've got to walk through on how to liberate the cult outpost at Nolan's Fly Shop. Okay, so for this one, we are going to be coming in right from the north, and then we're going to move all the way around to the back of this cult outpost, and we'll come in kind of from the southwest, like right here. And then we're also going to make sure to spot everyone first. I definitely find that to be beneficial for this specific outpost. Okay, and we're going to be clearing this in complete stealth, and then you can get that undetected award at the end. And I don't know where the safe is at this time, and I've been finding that with a couple of these outposts, I haven't been able to find the safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to make a video after I'm done with all the outposts, and after I found all the safes, I'm just going to make a video, and I'll probably show every single safe location for all the outposts in that one single video. And then, uh, yeah, we should be able to deal with it that way. Now, if someone posts a comment in the comment section on where those safes are for each outpost, that would be really beneficial as well. Give people that information sooner. All right, let's go ahead and hop in to this on hard difficulty. And we're going to be using our hands, fists, and then also throwing knives. Okay, so right here is a good spot to uh, start spotting them. There's going to be a guy sitting right in front of the house there. There's an angel somewhere inside. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to spot him right now. Then there's a guy on top. Then there'll be two guys, or, yeah, two guys talking to each other, like, right over there. Can't spot the second guy right now. The guy right there. And there's going to be helicopters that occasionally fly over the top of this. So just make sure if the helicopter is flying over that you do not get spotted by it. So stay in a bush or under some trees, something along those lines. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, there's another guy. Oh, there's the angel. We have him spotted. Yep, there's another guy right there. And then there's one more guy behind this house over there. But Oh, yeah, and then you got badgers inside the cages here. There's like two badgers. Pretty sure there's another one. Yep, right there. Okay, anyway, we are in uh, pretty much position of where we need to be right now. There's one or two more guys we still have to spot, but uh, we're just going to move on in. This first guy is very easy to take out. He's just going to be camping right by these boxes. You're going to take him down, and then you're going to pull him. You're going to pull him away into these bushes here. And you shouldn't have any problems with getting spotted when you're doing this. Even though that guy's on the roof and whatnot, all you have to do is just drop him into the bushes, and you'll be good to go. Okay, next guy, you're just going to keep moving right along here. And you're going to move up right next to him and make sure your throwing knives are out and you're just going to do something like this pull out your throwing knives and you're just going to hit him that angel's not even going to move he's going to stop for a second he's going to be kind of like oh what just happened and then he's just going to start walking that way so what you can do is walk into the house right after that and then he's going to turn around you take him down and you gotta pick up his body right away. There's gonna be a guy that usually a guy comes to inspect what that sound was. Not always. Okay, it doesn't look like he's gonna come to inspect this time. Okay, well, if they don't come inspect, every now and then a guy, that guy like right there that I'm looking at, that guy right there, every now and then he'll come over and inspect inside the house, but it's not doing it this time. So, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna climb the roof and take out the guy on the roof. Oh, here he comes. Okay. That guy is coming into the building, I believe. So we are going to want to... Nope, he's not coming. Okay. If he does come into the building, you want to make sure to take him out first. Because you don't want him to spot those dead bodies. Okay, and then this guy. Just to make sure I don't like make any noise, I'm just going to use a throwing knife on him. And then we'll pick him up right away. Just so no one will see it. No one will see the body. Okay, we're just going to pop back this way, and we'll drop the body right there. Okay, there's our other guy right there. And there should be another guy right over here that we haven't spotted quite yet. I want to make sure we can take out this guy first. Just trying to spot the other guy that I know is by this angel over here.
Okay, this guy's pretty much alone by himself. I'm going to just take him down with the throwing knife quick. Okay, he's pretty much in a spot where he's not going to be spotted by anything else. We're just going to leave that badger alone. No one wants to mess with the badger. Okay, and I can walk for a little bit here. We'll be relatively undetected. Okay, and I'm going to crouch again. Because I'm pretty sure there's one other guy, unless I already took him out. But there should be one other guy right around here by this angel. Yep, there he is. Okay, I knew he was there. Okay, we got him spotted. Just to make sure we know where he is. We're going to pull out our throwing knives again. And we're going to take him out with one of those. And then we're just going to go straight up to that angel. Take him out. Uh, last time I was doing this, I was on the roof. I just dropped right down on top of that guy. You can do a drop takedown. That works as well. This guy won't turn around. The angel won't. Okay, that guy's awfully close. So I'm not... Oh, he's inspecting. Okay, so... We're going to perform a takedown on this angel. And then we're going to get real close to this guy. You're getting pretty close into a danger zone here. Oh, and it looks like someone else is... Behind us, unless it's a helicopter again. It might be a helicopter. Okay, we're gonna try and take this guy down right away. He's probably gonna learn it, alarm his friend pretty quick. Okay, throwing knife. Now there's only one left. So what you can do is just wait for him to come your way because he's gonna freak out. Okay, and then throw a throwing knife at him. And there you go. Boom, undetected. I think what started spotting us right back there might have been a helicopter or someone uh, floating by on a boat because the river is right behind this little outpost. Anyways, there you have it, everyone. That one was, uh, you know, pretty quick and easy. I found that one to be pretty fun, too. So uh, if you have any questions, I'll make sure to post them in the comment section. Like I said, I don't know where the safe is on this one. I haven't looked that hard, but I will. I'll either be posting a video later on on where all the safes are, or I will uh, post some type of comment for every single video on where the safes are after I find them. And uh, yeah, I'll I'll be spending time at a later later point trying to find those. So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, click the little button in the bottom left corner to subscribe. I will be posting all vi or walkthroughs for all the rest of the outposts. And then also to do, clear them in stealth, that is. And then also leave a like if you liked the video. Check out the video. I'm going to link in the top right corner of the screen. And I will see you all in the next one.